Let's take a look at some more examples of naming esters. Here I have ethanoic acid. Eth is two carbons, two butanol. But means there's four carbons in the longest chain, and the two indicates that the hydroxyl group is coming off of number carbon two in that chain. So if we look at it, it's one, two, three, four. When we want to name the ester, and in a lot of these reactions, I'm leaving out the water, we want to put the alcohol name first. We want to chop off the anol ending and just make it YL. So we're going to have 2-butyl. And then we add the ethanoic acid, but we chop off the anoic, and we add anoic. So this is 2-butyl ethanoic. How would we draw its structure? Well, you can see here how I've clipped out the water. The ester linkage is going to be between the carbon and the ethanoic acid and the oxygen on the alcohol. Carbon 1 and 2, that's over here. Here's the O from the alcohol, and then its attached carbon chain. Here's another example. 4-methylheptanoic acid. Again, we saw in the last lecture, hept was 7, and we have a methyl group coming off of carbon 4. 3-methyl-2-butanol. Again, 4 carbons long because it's but. It's an alcohol because we have anol. That OH comes off of carbon 2, and we have a methyl group coming off of carbon 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Carbon 2 has the OH on it. Carbon 3 has the methyl. We're going to clip these together here. Okay? So you want to make sure that when you draw this, it might be easier to turn this whole thing on its side and attach them. And that's what I've done. Notice I've got the same chain here as I had here. This gives me a reference of where my double bonded oxygen is. This O is the O in the alcohol. That O is attached to a carbon here, this carbon and this carbon. This carbon is attached to two other carbons, here and here. That carbon then is attached to two other carbons, here and here. What do you think we would name this? That's right. 3-methyl-2-butyl-4-methyl-heptanoid. Good job. Let's take a look at a little more complicated stuff here. Methanoic acid. Meth, one carbon long. 3-octanol. Oct is 8. The OH is on carbon number 3. So, where should I put the OH here? Well, let's put the OH. 1, 2, 3, and the H. Now, I could put my H here. I could put it here. I could put it there. I'm not going to bother with drawing the little connecting sticks. I did add the H's to the methanoic acid, but I'm not going to bother to do that here. You just have to remember, carbons have four bonds, and whatever isn't shown is going to be a hydrogen. The name then is going to be the alcohol part, 3 octal methanoid. What's that structure going to look like? Well, you got this crazy thing going on here. Again, here's the methanoid, double bonded oxygen to a C. That's the C here, double bonded O. Then you have the O from the 3 octanol, that's this O, and that's attached to carbon 1, 2, 3 in the chain. Hopefully, this has cleared things up for you. There are a ton of other resources. All you have to do is type in ester naming and search for it. This last slide I will use as an assignment. So look for that in the classroom. Thanks.